Squad, it's Thalia, and welcome to Thalia's Unique World. So if you don't already know me, I am on some of social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. You can follow me at, on TikTok at uh, all lowercase Thalia Unique underscore 04 and on Instagram at uh, all lowercase Thalia underscore Moni M0 and I underscore unique underscore 04 and then on Snapchat just my full name and before I introduce myself and uh, what we are going to be talking about on this channel and what I'm gonna show you guys is that don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos like this and also hit that thumbs up button if you guys like this video. So I just wanted to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Thalia. I am almost 19 years old. I was born on December 26, 2004 and I live in the Bay Area, um, next to Oakland, and I live with my mom, my dad, and my younger brother, and I am considered legally blind and visually impaired. I was diagnosed at the age of seven, and I was born with it, but my parents and I didn't find out till a little bit later in life. Um, the reason why you can see me wearing glasses is just to help my vision, but honestly, it just helps. It doesn't really correct my vision that well, but I, um, I have two syndromes and I'll go more detail into them so you guys can understand and so that people who don't know about it can maybe take away something from my experience and my diagnosis as well. So my diagnosis is that I have two syndromes, one being Bardet-Biedel syndrome, which affects a lot of the body parts and carries both of the parents' gene. And also it doesn't um, it's not from any other family. Any other family members of mine don't have it. Um, just me. So, that carries on. Um, it affects, first of all, my extra digits on my toes. I had extra digits on my toes when I was born. Parent, uh, my doctors didn't know. Uh, and my aunt, I call her Nina, but... She was the one who actually figured out that I had the extra digits and then doctors saw them and then my dad saw it and then it just came to the conclusion of me getting it removed when I was 10 months old. So then that came to where now my feet, I have five toes and I have just like the bone scars at the end of my foot because it was by like my pinky on my foot. And now that <laughs> and also my my feet are very tiny as well right now um which with Bardet it comes with my feet have a very small foot size um basically the width of my foot stays the same but the length of my foot kind of grows but doesn't really my foot size is eight and a half or eight. It really depends. I technically can't wear, <laughs> this is going to be weird, but I can't wear any Vans or Yeezys. Those are two I can't really fit in. Or for you women out there who wear like sandals or waraches or just flip flops in general, I can't fit into those either. A lot of the shoes I wear is high tops, um, Nike, Skechers, or just simple Crocs with a whole lot of Croc charms. That's literally just my style. Also, 
Oh yeah, another one is uh like the Air Forces. Those are like nicer shoes that I wear for like dinners and stuff like that or parties. Um I actually wear Air Forces to my keen to my keens, which was a shoe that was nice enough where I don't have to wear heel. <laughs> and then yeah, that's that's all the shoes I basically can wear in general. <laughs> So, my diagnosis is that I have two syndromes, one being Bardet-Biedel syndrome, which affects a lot of the body parts and carries both of the parents' gene. And also, it doesn't, um, it's not from any other family, any other family members of mine don't have it, um, just me, so that carries on um it affects first of all my extra digits on my toes i had extra digits on my toes when i was born parent uh my doctors didn't know uh and my aunt i call her nina but she was the one who actually figured out that i had the extra digits and then doctors saw them and then my dad saw it, and then it just came to the conclusion of me getting it removed when I was 10 months old so then that came to where now my feet I have five toes and I have just like the bone scars at the end of my foot because it was by like my pinky on my foot and now that <laughs> and also my my feet are very tiny as well right now um which with Bardet, it comes with my feet have a very small foot size. Um, basically, the width of my foot stays the same, but the length of my foot kind of grows, but doesn't really. My foot size is eight and a half or eight. It really depends. I technically can't wear... <laughs> This is going to be weird, but I can't wear any Vans or Yeezys. Those are two I can't really fit in. Or for you women out there who wear like sandals or laraches or just flip-flops in general, I can't fit into those either. A lot of the shoes I wear is high tops, um, Nike, Skechers, or just simple Crocs with a whole lot of croc charms that's literally just my style also oh yeah another one is uh like the air forces those are like nicer shoes that i wear for like dinners and stuff like that or parties um i actually wear air forces to my keen to my keen set, which was a shoe that was nice enough where i don't have to wear heel <laughs> and then yeah, that's, that's all the shoes I basically can wear in general. <laughs> and then another part of Bardet Bidel syndrome is me with weight gain. Um, it's just a part of me. I can't really change it. But I try to eat healthy. I try to do what I can. I exercise a lot every single day. I exercise on the elliptical behind me, actually, the elliptical. And then I do, like, home workout exercises like workout videos and stuff like that which helps um but I try to eat healthy foods if I can <laughs> we all have that problem but um and then another one is um just me being short short statured because right now I'm 5'1 and that's probably not going to change ever in my life probably and then the last one is obviously vision people can have both bardet Edel syndrome and then the next diagnose i'm gonna bring up is um renatitis pigmentosa that's the next one i'm gonna bring up to you guys so bardet so bardet Edel syndrome is connected with vision which is one thing that i have um renatitis pigmentosa renatitis pigmentosa is basically where your retina has dark spots that start to spread out and you either, you either can have your vision stay the same or go fully blind, it just depends. 
But for me, my vision has stayed the same where I still have vision left in me. And that it spreads slowly for me. At least in my position right now, my retina is, is stable. Like it's... It's, it has spots spreading, but it's just stable at the moment. But there's no cure for it, unfortunately. I hope scientists in the future can figure out a technology-based system or um, some type of cure that can help the spread of a lot of people who have retinitis pigmentosa. So that could either change or stay the same. It just really depends on your situation. I am also night blind. So what happens is I can see in the day. So I can see you guys right now. Um, the sun bothers my eyes. And my eyes kind of flutter or say twitch. And when I go from light to dark, there's kind of this thing where my eyes need a few minutes to adjust so I can see things inside. So even if I'm wearing sunglasses and we're going into like a store or something, I need a few minutes to adjust. And even though the sun's bad for me, I need the lights to see anything in general. Um, but my favorite thing is me looking at like fireworks or even just like the neon LED lighting in my room right now which you guys see on TikTok those lights are pretty cool where I can see them and they are uh they're they're lights where I could see better with them um also I have a white cane just like everybody every other blind and visually impaired person so I have a white a white cane that's about 52 inches long so it goes up to the chest, that's usually how they measure white canes. And then I use like portable lights and stuff like that for me to see. And then also another thing is like I am, I'm, yeah, the sensitiveness to light. Also, me having no peripheral vision and having, I forgot how, what it, what it, what it means, but. That's, yeah. <laughs> but, um, that's how it is. And then also with me being colorblind is another one. Me being colorblind means that I can see different colors and mix them up with other colors. Which, in clothing, that's very hard. When I mix colors up and when I mix and match clothing, it just really bothers me. But I just have to live with the consequence sometimes of me changing my clothes if I have to. So that's a lot you know now and I hope you guys learn more about what it is. There is a lot of other parts to both the sides of what I have. I know what I know. When I was seven I didn't really know a lot I was very unsure like every other little kid that was very unsure about what her vision and what her disability is and that's how I felt because when I went to school one day when I saw the CCTV which is a magnifier if you don't know when I saw it on my desk I was totally confused of what it meant to me and why was it there but I did have TV eyes who are teacher of visually impaired. I did have TVIs and braille teachers who were pretty much teaching me how to use my things even though I was still unsure of what was going on in, in with my eyes. But I know all the knowledge I can know and hopefully I know more. As I go on, I learn something new about myself every single day that I have this disability. I learn new ways of doing things and hopefully that's something I can do on this channel is let everybody know that we are capable of doing things and that we um we have the we have the capability to do whatever we want in life and I hope that's something for you guys to 
know as well it's that even if you have a disability or not we are equal united front and we could do anything we set our minds to and i hope that's something that you guys can learn as too um if you if you like also interest i have the interest i like i like music i love listening to music that's kind of like my escape is listening to music pop music really into have you ever have you guys listened to olivia rodrigo's new album guts it's one of my favorites um sabrina carpenter emails i can't send that's a really good one um the jonas brothers been a long time group i love i i enjoy and other pop groups and pop culture changes a lot and it stays the same but we i always go on tiktok tiktok is my thing um you guys see that all throughout my tiktok pages i love to dance um and i love just having the creative freedom of trying to figure out dancing and also figuring out what music to use with the dancing i created that's something i like to do also i like baking um desserts and i just like also another thing is i loved doing crossword puzzles in the pandemic i did at least like 11 crossword puzzles that i've done throughout the whole course of the pandemic i looked at them and i was like whoa that's how many i did <laughs> and yeah um another thing is that i enjoy playing my piano i started playing piano during the pandemic and that's something i love to do i also like singing singing i've done since i was five and i pretty much sing all genre if i can um with my vocal range and i'm a big loungefly collector if you guys haven't seen my TikToks, I am pretty much Loungefly. Loungefly is a brand that I love to collect. And I might make a video out of how, I, how many I have and what I do with them. How I collect and store them. And that's probably a cool idea I have sparked for another feature video. But also, I have a interest and love for Dis anything disney my family is a big are big disney fans so i've been i've been going to disney land ever since i was three and that's kind of how i started the magic of enjoying the imagination and creativity that disney brought and i just look up disney every single day seeing the updates and what's new and what's what's trending there of what to eat and do and all that stuff but that's pretty much what i like to watch um also watching things i love watching new movies my and new shows and right now i'm currently watching a lot of iCarly the revival and um the old show and I'm watching High School Musical, and I'm just into that stuff. And also, other things like, I enjoy playing a sport called goalball. I did make a TikTok about it, where I talk about the sport, and what it means to me, how long I've been playing, and all that stuff. So you guys can check out that TikTok video. It's probably still out <laughs> there. Um, and I just love creating and making new things. That's pretty much my interest. What I hope to get out of this channel is that, um, people who have a disability or not can come out learning something new or just watching for fun. I definitely want to make videos that interest people on what I enjoy or what I do for my free time or 
just daily living skills that I am still learning. That's something I want to bring to the table here. And um, knowing I have more free time since I am a college freshman who goes to Chabot College now and this semester I'm doing asynchronous. So I'm doing all online classes. I have a lot of free time and enjoying making content. That's all my whole priority is making content and doing schoolwork pretty much. <laughs> but I want to inspire others to do the same and share their stories as well because that's important. Um yeah. So let me know what you guys want to see on this channel. It's probably going to be vlogging or some type of skill learning that I'm doing. Or it might be just doing baking or or makeup or even the lounge flies that I collect. Or anything else you guys want me to do or try out. Let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.